Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this dress. I initially made it for a christening gown. It's probably not your traditional looking christening gown. It's gown. It's pretty uh, blingy, but I don't like to do things like everybody else, so I made it a little different. And also, you don't even have to use this as you can use it as it'd be a really cool pretty princess dress or something. I did make it a little bit longer though because of a christening gown. So if you did want to make this dress for some other occasion, uh, you might want to make it a little shorter. But I mean, again, you don't have to. It could be it can be long. Um, and I'll show you what materials I used. Okay, for the size for zero to three months, you're gonna to want to make it just like I make it, but you're gonna to want to use a five millimeter crochet hook. I did mine for three to six months and I used a five and a half millimeter. So it's just the needle size should adjust it enough to make it um, for zero to three or three to six. So five millimeter for zero to three, five and a half for three to six. Okay, you're going to need, if you want, it's optional, a button. For, it's, this is a button. I got it in the button aisle at Walmart. They actually have all kinds of pretty large um, glitzy buttons like this. So if you want to do that, you're going to need <clears throat> one of them. These are actually buttons too. They are 11 millimeter, I think. Yeah, 7 sixteenths of an inch or 11 millimeters. These are just diamond buttons. I got these at Walmart too. You're going to need 12, six for each side. And then I'm going to move this dress out of the way. Set my camera down. Try not to be too shaky with it. And then the ribbon that I used is eighth inch ribbon to go around the sleeves. Um, I use the white with a little bit of uh, iridescent color on the edge, but you can use any color that you want. And then you're going to need some studs. I got this little tube at Walmart too. Um, I think I use around a hundred. Um, uh, these are two millimeter studs. They're the flat on the back. So you can hot glue them. If these are optional too, if you want to use them. And then you're going to need a hot glue gun and some hot glue. A uh, sewing thread and a regular sewing needle. Um, for the tool, I use this. I got this at Walmart also. On the craft aisle, right by the buttons. Um, it's six inches wide. And there's 25 yards per roll. This is solid white. And I used the 25 yards of the solid white. And then they have a sparkle, which I got that too, but there's only 12 yards in that one. So you'll need two of them. So actually it was like 24 yards of each. So it was one roll of the white and two rolls of the sparkly kind. And then you're gonna need I used Caron Simply Soft, which is a medium weight, 100% acrylic, and you're going to need about 550 yards, which took me one whole skein and then almost a little over half of another. And then you're going to need these little hook and eye closures to sew up the back so it has a button. You can put one or two on the back. That's completely up to you, and you just sew these on with a regular needle and thread. I made this and I don't even have anybody to give it to, nobody to use it, so it's probably just going to hang in my closet, I guess. But let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, you want to start out with a chain of 44. And then once you get your chain of 44 made, you want to put one double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. And remember, we never count the one that's on our hook, so in the fourth chain. I'm going to double crochet. And then I'm going to put one double crochet in each stitch for the length of the chain. Just like this. Okay, once you make it to the end here, you should have a total of 42 double crochets, counting this chain space here at the end. 
So now what we want to do is chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to put one double crochet right back here into the very first stitch. And you're going to go right back into it. Like that. And I'm going to put one double crochet into the next stitch. And then in the next stitch I'm going to put two double crochets. When I put two double crochets in one stitch, that's called an increase stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and put two doubles in my next stitch and make that my increase stitch. So there's one and two. Now I'm going to put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one double, one double. So there's one here and then one in the next and then the next stitch will be the increase stitch where I put two double crochet into the same stitch. So one and two. And that's the pattern that I'm going to repeat for this row. One double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one and then one in the next and in the next stitch two double crochets in the same stitch my increase stitch so go ahead and repeat that pattern until you get to the end of the row one double one double two doubles one double one double two doubles all the way to the end okay I'm coming to the end of the row and I just did a double crochet here, a double crochet here. Now you should end with two double crochets right here in this last little chain space. So go ahead and put two double crochets in that last stitch. And you should have a total of 56 stitches at the end of row two. Okay, row three we're going to chain one and turn. And we're going to double crochet right back into that very same stitch. So right here, one double. And I'm going to put one double crochet in the next stitch. And then one double crochet into the next. So what we did was three double crochets in a row. Now the next stitch will be our increase stitch. It will be two double crochets in the same stitch. And now we're going to do three double crochets in a row again. So one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. There's one, two, three, and then two double crochets into the next. And that is the repeat for row three one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so there's one two and three and then two double crochets into the next and you want to repeat that to the end of the row one double one double one double two doubles one double one double one double two doubles all the way to the end Okay, I'm coming to the end of row three, and again, you should be ending in two double crochets in your very last stitch here. And then you should have a total of 70 double crochets at the end of this row. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close up this yoke part of the dress. So I'm just going to bring it over here and kind of turn it. And I'm just going to slip stitch it together. So I'm going to slip stitch it right here into the first double crochet. Like that. That way it'll close up. We don't have a big hole in the background. Like that. And now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my whole piece. So I'm still working back and forth rows but they're just connected now. So now I'm going to put one double crochet 
right back into that same stitch so right here in the in the first stitch here one double crochet and I'm going to put one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so there's one two three so counting that first double crochet we have a four double crochets in a row now the next stitch is going to be an increased stitch we're going to put two double crochets in the same stitch just like that now I'm going to put four double crochets in a row again one two three four and then my next stitch will be my increase stitch two double crochets in the same stitch so that's the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way around until I get back here to the beginning four double crochets in a row and then a double crochet increase all the way around okay I'm coming to the end here and you should end where I did I see I did four double crochets in a row and then my last stitch right here should be two double crochets in the same stitch and you should have a total of 84 double crochets now and you just want to end by slip stitching into your very first double crochet not that chain one we did but the very first double crochet like that now I'm not going to tie off but I'm going to pull up my yarn and I'm going to mark my armholes okay so you're going to need four stitch markers I'm just going to use these pieces of yarn here okay starting with the very first stitch here that we slip stitched into so kind of pull it apart so you can see this one we're going to count over 12 stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve put a stitch marker in that twelfth stitch like that okay and then we're going to count over 18 more not counting the this one but starting with the next one we'll count over 18 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen stitch mark and eighteenth like that and now we're going to do the same on the other side so starting with the next stitch here is where we connected this is the one we counted with last time over start with the next one on this side see where there was two together that's where we're going to start counting count over 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 stitch mark like that and then we're going to count over the 18 again not counting the one that the marks in starting with the next one 1 2 3 4 five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so now we have our armholes marked and we're going to start where we left off here and i'm going to start by chaining one and turning my work okay now i'm going to put one double crochet right back into the same stitch like that and I'm going to put one double crochet in each stitch up into the stitch marker so it's going to be one double crochet in 12 stitches counting this one as our first one so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and our stitch marker will be our twelfth one so you can go ahead and take that out 
and put your double crochet in it. Now what we're going to do is chain two, one, two, and I'm going to skip all these stitches. I want to have, we stitched a mark here at the 18th one. We want to skip a total of 18 stitches. So what I'm going to do with that chain two on my hook, I'm going to go ahead and yarn over. And since the stitch marker marked the 18th one, I'm going to double crochet in the one right after it. That way there will be 18 stitches there for the armhole. 18 stitches open. And then you can pull that stitch marker out because you don't need it anymore. So there should be 18 um, stitches here. And now I'm going to go ahead and put one double crochet in the rest of these stitches here until I get to my next stitch marker. And just like this. Until I get over here to my next stitch marker. Okay, I'm back over here to my next stitch marker. Now I stitch mark or I double crocheted into the one before it. I don't want to double crochet in this one. Just gonna go ahead and do my chain two. And then I'll be skipping 18. And I'm gonna go ahead and double crochet into this one that has the marker. With, so with that chain two still on my hook, I'm just gonna yarn over and go into this next stitch with the marker. And double crochet one time. And then you can remove that marker and this marker. So again, there should be 18 stitches in between here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and finish off here. There should be 12 stitches, counting this one you get to the end and there's 12 and then you want to go ahead and slip stitch into your first double crochet now you should have don't tie off yet you should have a total of 48 double crochets now so let me get it straightened out here so you can see it like that not counting these just around the edges you'll have 48 double crochets and then these two chain two spaces so we're not going to work right here now we'll do that later towards the end when we get more of the dress made so that's what it looks like now i'm going to make some um a place to tie the tool and stuff onto and to start the the main portion of the dress so i'm gonna go ahead Okay, now I'm just going to pick up where I left off, and I'm going to chain one and turn my work. Now I'm going to be working one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm just going to go ahead and start by putting one single crochet in the next stitch, and one single crochet in every stitch here up until we get to the armholes. Okay, when we get to the armholes, since we had, we did a chain two, we want to go ahead and put two single crochets just right through the armhole. Just right through like that. And then I'm going to continue around, get, make sure you get this first stitch here, putting one single crochet in every stitch. until I get back around to the next set of armholes and that will be the same thing too trying to hurry oops and then my yarn split because I was hurrying I'm 
Okay, when you get to the next set of armholes, it's going to be the same thing. Make sure you're going into this last stitch here. Since we chained two, we're going to just going to put two single crochets right through it, like that, and then pick back up where you left off, and go ahead and finish out with single crochets until you get to the end. Okay, when you make it to the end, you want to go ahead and slip stitch into your first single crochet. Should have a total of 50 single crochets now at the end of this round. I'm sorry, 52 single crochets, not 50. I don't know why I said that. 52 single crochets. Okay, now what you want to do is chain one and turn. Now we're going to be working in the uh, front loops only this time. So if you look, each loop has two loops. The front loop is the one closest and the back loop is the one farthest away. So going through the front loop only, we're going to put one single crochet. And I'm going to put one single crochet in the front loop only of every stitch around. Just like this. Just going through the front loops. And if you're doing it correctly, you'll kind of see that little you know, little ridge there in front. I guess you kind of can't really see it on the white, but just go ahead and do one single crochet in every stitch around, front loops only, until you get back to the beginning, and you still should have a total of 52 single crochets. Okay, once you make it back around and you have 52 single crochets working in the back loops only, and you can see this little ridge we have here, which we'll work with that later. But for now, we're going to end it by slip stitching in the front loop of the first single crochet. The front loop only. Like that. And we're not going to turn or work this time. So just keep going in this same direction. And I'm going to chain, I'm going to make some little loops to attach the tool to later. So I'm going to do a chain. Of four. And I'm going to skip three stitches. Skip, 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 and in the front loop only of the next, I'm going to single crochet. Like that. So you'll have this little loop here. And now I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip a three. One, two, three and in the front loop only of the next. Single crochet. Chain four. Skip three. One, two, three. And in the front loop only single crochet of the next one here. And I'm going to repeat this all the way around. Chain four. And then skip three. Skip, skip, skip. And in the front loop only of the next. Single crochet. Chain four. Skip three. Skip, skip, skip. Front loop only of the next. Single crochet. So I'm going to repeat this all the way around. Okay, I'm just finishing my last one and you should have three stitches to skip. One, two, and this counts as a stitch because we started in this one right here. So let's go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch that you started in to, to tie that off. And I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and clip my yarn here and you should have a total of 13 of those chain 
spaces like that. And as you can see, they're kind of set to the back. And that's what you want. Okay. Okay, now we're going to start again. We need to find the center of our front. So, I'm kind of in the back here. And you got to... Okay, you got to look carefully here. Because remember that we're only going to be working in the back loops. Or the front loops this time. Because before we work these in the back. So I kind of just tucked them under for now. And you can see your stitches pretty well. Right here is the back loop. And you want to make sure you count around and you have 52 of these little loops. And I know right here where you start and stop it looks a little awkward. But they're there. And you should have 52 back loops. Now, you want to count over from your first one, 26 stitches, all the way around to the front. And you want to mark that 26th stitch with a stitch marker. And you also want to mark the next one, the 26th and the 27th. Because now we're going to be working in back and forth rows. And this is where our row is going to end and begin. So we're just going to start now. I hope that makes sense. He counted over from the back loops 26 stitches. And I'm going to start and we mark the 26th and the 27th. Okay, now we're going to start our yarn. We got our, this marked off here. We're going to start our yarn in the one farthest over here because this is going to form the split to our dress. And we're just working in the front loop only because we got these actually when we were putting on the chain spaces here we are working in the front loop but since we flipped it over we're, we're working in the front it's actually the back loop of this row but since it's flipped it looks like the front loop I hope that makes sense but just just this row right here and go ahead and start your yarn there in that first one and chain one and go ahead and go back into that same stitch and put two double crochets so there's one and two now I'm going to go to the next space the front loop only and put two more double crochets so that's what I'm going to do this time around I'm just going to put two double crochets in every single stitch all the way around just like this and this is going to make it fuller the dress full so I'm just going to go ahead and work my way around putting two double crochets in every single stitch all the way around just working in that front loop here this is the only time we're going to be for the main portion of the dress um, working in that one loop after that we'll start working in both loops so just like that all the way around the whole dress until you get back over here to your stitch marker and remember we still have these little loops there I just just kind of tuck them under and we'll come back to them later okay I'm coming back around and I got one stitch left which is the other stitch here with the stitch marker. I'm going to go ahead and put two stitches on that one. And you should have a total of 104 double crochets at the end of this row. And you can pull your stitch marker out. Now I'm not going to be working in rounds. I'm just going to be working in back and forth rows now. So I'm going to chain one and turn. And now every row is going to be the same now. I'm going to double crochet right back into that same stitch. And I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch to the end of the row. All the way around until I get to the other side. Just like this. And when you get back to the other side, you still you should still have 104 double crochets. Okay, when you make it back around over here to the split, you just go ahead and 
double crochet into that into your last double crochet and you should have 104 double crochets again like that and again we're just gonna ch chain one and turn and repeat and we're just gonna keep repeating this row double crochet back into the same stitch and one double crochet and every stitch around until you get back over to the other side to where the split is all the way around back to here and then you just chain one and turn and keep going we're going to keep doing that for the length of the dress okay here's what it looks like so far now you feel free to make it as long as you want but what I did was we did the increase row where there was two double crochets in every stitch and then we started doing rows of one double crochet in every stitch. I did 19 rows of the one double crochet in every stitch. So counting the increase row right here, it's a total of 20 rows. But remember, you can do however many you want. And I didn't tie off. I'm going to go ahead and do the edging now. So let me set my camera down here. Okay, what I went ahead and did was chain one and I turned my work. Now for the edging, you just want to put one double crochet right back into the same stitch, like that. And now I'm going to skip one, and in the next stitch I'm going to put one half double crochet, and then two double crochets, so there's one, it's all going in the same stitch, two, now I'm going to put a pico on top of this one, so I'm going to chain three, and I'm going to go right back down, and I like to slip stitch kind of right here into the side of it like that, slip stitch it, and that makes a little point there. And I'm going to put one more double right back into the same spot, and then one half double. So that's the shell edging that I'm going to do all the way around. So now I'm going to skip two stitches, so skip, skip, and then the next one, I'm going to do this again. So skip your two and then go ahead and half double crochet, and then two double crochets, so one, two, and then pico on this one, go ahead and chain three and then slip stitch right back down into the top of the stitch or the side like I do and that will make that little point or that little ball on the end and now double crochet again back into the same stitch and half double crochet so what we got really is a half double and then we really have three doubles but in the middle one is where we do the pico and then another half double at the end now again, I'm going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and do my little shell again with one half double, two doubles, so there's one, two, chain, three, and then slip stitch right back down into the top. And now another double, and another half double, just like that. And this is the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way around. So I'm going to skip two stitches again, skip, skip, and then do my shell stitch, and do the next. So I'm going to do this all the way to the end, and I'll see you over there in just a second. Okay, when you make it back to the other side, you should have one, two stitches left. You want to skip the last one and double crochet, or skip the next one, I'm sorry, and double crochet into the last. And then you should have a total, you can go ahead and tie this off now. You should have a total of 34 of these little shell stitches here. Like that. So that part is done. And it's starting to look pretty nice. Now, in the beginning, if you remember, we did this up here. We worked and we had, uh, we did 
a row of uh, single crochet in the back loops only and that left this front loop right up here now we're going to be working in that and we should have 52 of these little front loops so I'm just going to start in any stitch on the back just so the seam isn't as visible <clears throat> and you want to grab any one of these front loops but in order for the stitches to be facing right side up when I put the shells on you want them to be flipped the down right you want to have the dress turned like this and then we'll start right here and work around that way so grab so you just want to grab any one of these front loops here any one of them like that and go ahead and start your yarn in it and start by chaining one and then I'm going to go right back in and I'm going to do one single crochet and what I'm going to do is work across and put one single crochet in the front loop of each one of these stitches here or of this row of front loops I'm just going to put one single in each stitch all the way around I'm trying to hide that tail as I go I hate sewing in tails it's like the worst part of crochet for me and when you get back around to the beginning you want to have a total of 52 single crochets so just keep working around in that front loop here you can see it whenever you pull it up here until you get back here to your starting point okay when you made it back around and you got your 52 single crochets just go ahead and slip stitch into your first single crochet now we're just going to do basically the same thing we did down there but just like the same kind of shell pattern but just a little bit different so what we're going to do is chain one now working in the same stitch we're going to do one half double crochet two double crochets one two and then we're going to do the pico and then we're going to do one more double back in the same spot and then one half double so it's the same shell that we did at the bottom like that the only difference is instead of skipping two this time we're only going to skip one so you just skip one and then start working into the next one again one half double I'm trying to hide my tails there sorry as I go two doubles and then pico one more double and one half double all into that same stitch and now we just skip one and work in the next and do the same thing again and this is what we're going to repeat all the way around so we have the same shell pattern up here as we did on the bottom just to kind of make it look a little matchy just like that and skip one and start again and we'll do this all the way around it's going to go under the sleeves all the way across the front here along this row of single crochet that we did and then back to the beginning okay once you made it all the way around there my tails and stuff you should have one stitch there left to skip <clears throat> and then go ahead and end it by slip stitching into your first half double crochet and you should have 26 of these shells all the way around here and you can go ahead and my yarn keeps splitting tie this off there we go and then we'll get started on the sleeves 
and flip it around and kind of just straighten these out like that. Okay, I went ahead and got one sleeve done. So it's going to be the poofy sleeve. I'm going to put a ribbon on it later, but go ahead and start the other. And both sleeves are made the exact same. So, going to be working the sleeves over the 18 stitches that we skipped for the uh, armholes in the beginning plus this one right here that this one's attached to and then the same one on the other side so we're working it over a total of 20 stitches now you can start your yarn in any stitch but I'd probably recommend starting it right down here in this first stitch that this double crochet is connected to right here so let's go ahead and start your yarn and chain one now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna work three double crochets back into that same stitch so there's one two and three and now I'm going to work three double crochets in every single stitch until I get to the other side and this is what's going to make it nice and ruffly so three doubles in each stitch until you make it over there to the other side okay so I've made it around here and here's my last stitch that I'm gonna put three double crochets in it's the same stitch that this double crochet is attached to so when after you get your three double crochets into this spot you should have a total of 60 double crochets because we worked over 20 stitches now what we're gonna do is take our other side and we're going to slip stitch into the fir our first double crochet. This yarn always splits on me like that. Now there's a gap here. Don't worry about this gap. We will sew it shut later with a yarn needle in a piece of yarn. Or if you get done and you like the looks of the little gap there you can leave it open that's completely up to you but I'm gonna sew mine shut later so as for the gap just ignore that for right now now I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna do two rows of just putting one double crochet in every stitch just like this or two rounds so I'm gonna work around putting one double crochet in every stitch and when I get back around I'll have 60 double crochets and then I'm gonna slip stitch into my top of my first one chain one and do another round of one double crochet in every stitch okay I just got done with my second row of one double crochet in every stitch I'm going to slip stitch into the first one and I still should have 60 double crochets now I'm going to do a row of decreases so I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go right back into that same stitch and do one double crochet now I'm going to do a double crochet decrease over these next two stitches so I'm going to yarn over go into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook yarn over and go into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook and then yarn over and go through all three loops that's a double crochet decrease it's worked over two stitches so now I'm going to put one double crochet in the next and then I'm going to do a double crochet decrease over the next two so I'm going to yarn over go into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops yarn over and go into the next stitch up a loop 
yarn over, go through the first two loops, and yarn over and go through all three. That's a double crochet decrease. Now I'm going to put one double crochet into the next stitch, and then double crochet decrease over the next two. One double crochet into the next stitch, and then double crochet decrease over the next two. Like that, and that's the pattern all the way around. One double crochet in the next, and then a double crochet decrease. One double crochet, and then a double crochet decrease. And you want to work this pattern all the way back around to, to the beginning. Okay, when you make it back around after that row of decreases, your last you should have decreased had ended in a decrease. And then you want to go ahead and slip stitch into your first double crochet, and you should have a total of 40 stitches now. Now what we're going to do is repeat that row again. So you're going to chain one, go right back into that same stitch, and a double crochet. Now I'm going to do a double crochet decrease. And then double crochet into the next. And then a double crochet decrease. And then double crochet into the next. So we're just repeating the round that we just did. Double crochet decrease. And then double crochet in the next all the way around until you get back to the beginning. Okay, when you make it back around this time, now this time you will not end in a decrease. There'll just be one stitch left and just go ahead and put one double crochet in it. And then you want to slip stitch into your first double crochet and you should have 27 double crochets this time around. Okay, for this row. We're going to chain one and put one double crochet back into that same stitch. Now we're just going to be decreasing over every single stitch. So I'm going to do a decrease. Right down. And then decrease again. That and decrease again. And just like that until we get back around to the beginning. Decrease again. It's just double crochet decreases all the way around. Okay, now this time around you should end in the decrease. So the they're all going to be decreases except for that very first one it was the only one that was a one double in the same in the one double by itself. So you should have so go ahead and slip stitch into that first double there, and you should have a total of 14 stitches now this time around. Now we're going to put the last ruffle on the end. So we're going to chain one, and I'm going to go back into the same stitch, and I'm going to put four double crochets. It's one. Two, three, four, and I'm going to put four double crochets in every stitch all the way around. And that's going to make that ruffle on the end of the sleeve. So just go ahead and work around, putting four double crochets in each stitch until you get back to the beginning. And don't worry if it has this little bit of a gap here because that's where we're going to weave the ribbon in later. So just four double crochets in every stitch around. Okay, once you make it back around after putting four double crochets in every stitch, slip stitch into your first double crochet and you should have 56 double crochets now. Just go ahead and clip your yarn and tie that off. And that 
sleeve is done and you notice that there is a gap here some people might like the looks of it it's completely up to you I'm gonna sew mine shut with a piece of yarn and a yarn needle so I'm just gonna kind of hold it together and neatly sew it shut so and that's all there is to it just back and forth real neatly until it's closed and then you want to do both sleeves the exact same and then we'll start putting the tool on I guess next oh wait wait I'm gonna put a round around the collar first I'll show you how to do that real quick but just go go ahead and get this all sewed up here to the to where there's no hole I thought about leaving it open and just making the ribbon come out of it but and I just shut it. It's really completely up to you. You can do it however you want. Okay, and then when you get that done, you just want to hide your tail. Real, uh, I'll go ahead and show you around the collar up here. I'm just going to put a row of single crochet to clean it up. You probably wouldn't even have to do that it looks pretty nice already but I'll go ahead and do it so you want to start right here up here in this corner start right there in that like chain there and chain one and then go ahead and work one single crochet go ahead and put one single crochet back into that same stitch sorry about that that you started in like that and then just work one single crochet in every stitch along the top just to make it look a little bit fin more finished I guess just like this until you get back um, go all around the front here the collar and when you get to the other side just tie off and hide any remaining tails and then we'll get started on the tool putting that on Yeah, that makes it look a little bit cleaner at the top. Okay, for the tool, you want to take it, your roll, and you want to cut it in approximately 30 inch sections. And then once you get your 30 inch sections, you want to cut them in half lengthwise. So you got about a three inch section by 30 inches. And you want to do a whole bunch of them. Probably both your rolls, all your rolls is what it's going to take. This is the worst part of the whole dress is cutting this stuff. I hate tool. It's so pretty, but I hate it. I would rather crochet crochet this dress a hundred times over than have to cut any of this tool. It's the worst ever. <laughs> okay, once you get it cut, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be alternating the sparkle and the white together. Um, you open your dress up and you find your 13 loops on the inside and all I do is put it through there and even them out at the top and then I just make one tie one little knot like that that's it and then I slide it over and I'm gonna put eight um, in each section and then if I have any left over if you want to make it fuller, you can just add more to each section, but I'm going to put eight ties, just alternating the plain white. It's real easy, just cutting it, it's horrible. I hate it. Did I mention how much I hate it? Yeah. <laughs> but I think I got it all cut, so. So putting eight tied sections in each one of the chain spaces like I said if you want to make it fuller then 
once you get the eight on, kind of, oh, lay your dress out and see how full it is. And if you want it bigger, if you got any left over, just put it on there if you want. It's really up to you. Like that. So like that. So I'm going to finish up my rest of my chain spaces here that I haven't got done yet. And then um, we'll trim up the bottom of it. Okay, here's what it looks like so far. A big poofy mess. So what you want to do is you want to take some time and uh, lay these, get them all laid straightened out. You might want to put your dress on a hanger. And you might even want to do this last. You might want to go ahead and sew on your other things first. But um, you just want to make sure, I'll probably put mine on a hanger and go through it and untangle them all so they're all laying flat completely flat and then while it's hanging I'm gonna trim it up at the bottom and get them all even but before I do that I'll go ahead and I hot glue all my things on and sew on my buttons and things so I just use um, it's really easy just use a hot glue gun low heat hot glue gun if you want to do this you don't have to do this and you just put a dab of hot glue and then one of these little crystals and I put one on each pico so that's real easy I won't show you how to do it just dab a hot glue and put a crystal just stick the crystal to your finger and then stick it on the hot glue and I did it on each one of the ends of these picos around my dress and then I did it on these picos up here on this flap which will lay down better once I get all this straightened right there and then I think I'm going to do it evenly just put them evenly around the collar you don't have to do that but you can I'm just gonna glue them right up there kind of just like maybe like it's a necklace or something I guess but you don't you don't have to that's completely up to you and then the ribbon I just cut about a few feet of it and I weaved it in and out of the right, this row right here where we did the four double crochets and the next row we did in and out made it count come out underneath tied it in a bow and then cut it to my desired length and curled my ribbon with some scissors and I'm gonna do that on the other one too which I have not done buttons if you want to do that I am going to evenly space out six buttons on each side and I'm just gonna sew them with a needle and thread on so six buttons all the way down evenly spaced on both sides you can use these rows as markers if you want to do that again you don't have to if you just want to put one row of buttons and make it where the dress will button and close that's up to you I'm not going to do that because I don't I put all that tool on and I want it to be able to see it and then if you want if you got a big button that you want to put on sew it on up here too and if it's a big one like this I might just put a couple dabs of hot glue on it too just to hold it to make sure it's not flopping everywhere because hot glue works really well with yarn it's gonna stick pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and do all that and then I'm gonna straighten this all out and trim it up to the bottom okay one last thing you'll need to do is these little hook and eye closures you want to just sew them with a needle and thread right back here to hold your dress shut you can put one or two it's completely up to you or if you don't have them you can use maybe put a little loop make a button it's something to hook it together but I usually use these and just regular needle and white thread so one each side kind of on the inside and it's done that's all there is to it let me flip it over here it's so big right now I haven't I haven't um, fixed my tool or anything yet but I got my beads glued on and everything and that's it so I'll fix it and I'll put a picture of it at the end and at the beginning of the video but if you make this or anything else I'd really like to see a picture of it and you can post a picture on my bag of day crochet Facebook page I'll put a link to that below in the description box and until next time have a good day